Hi, this is Bart Polson, and this video is a walkthrough of an exercise from Zed Shaw's online book, Learn Python the Hard Way. Um, first, you want to start by going to his webpage, learnpythonthehardway.org, and then clicking on either read the free HTML online or clicking on this little tree diagram. Either one of those will take you to the table of contents, which is right here. And in this, this, and in this video, we're gonna look at this one, exercise six, strings and text. If you click on that, it'll take you to this page. Now what we're gonna be doing here is working some more with strings, which are, you know, basically it's more than one letter uh, or sentences or text. And we're gonna be using some variables inside them and finding different ways of working with them and printing them. And this is all that Zed is asking us to type out. Now. I'm going to go to Text Wrangler. By the way, I just updated some software on my computer and suddenly Text Wrangler wasn't working and I couldn't open my Python files anymore. What I had to do was go to my Python files in my finder. This is how you fix it on a Mac. Uh, Windows, I don't know. But what I did here is I selected one of my Python files and I pre pressed Command I to open up information. And from there I did opens with and then I, I chose Text Wrangler over again and said change all. And I did this thing for what I was doing anyhow. And that seemed to fix the problem. So, because previous to that, I couldn't open the Python files in any text editor or modify them. So it was a little screwy. But anyhow, here I am now. The first thing we need to type is this. So this is Zed's example. He creates a variable called x. And then the equal sign assigns to that variable x the value, uh, which is a string in quotes, there are uh, variable types of people. And the percent sign means that there's going to be a variable. It's called a format also. And D means it's going to be a decimal value. Uh, if it were S, it'd be a string. If it were F, it'd be a float, stuff like that. Uh, but D means decimal value. So we have our string in quotes. There are variable types of people. And then we close it, and then we have the percent sign again, which means we're now about to define or say what to put in that position, and we have the number 10. Please notice uh, that in the string right here, there's no space between the percent sign and the D, but over here, there is a space between the percent sign and the D. Oh, by the way, I switched the appearance of my copy of Python. I thought it might be a little easier to read if I did this, the default um, on black, excuse me, on a white background. So don't freak out. All I did was change the appearance in the preferences. Anyhow, so that defines the variable x. Then we define two other variables. We have one called binary, which contains the text binary. It's a very self-referential one. And the next one, do not, which contains the text don't. Now, please note, um, we want to don't, but we don't want to put that on the variable name because it has an apostrophe and that's going to screw things up. So we write do not out and you, uh, Zez using an underscore to separate the words here. And so now we've got three variables, x and binary and do not, and they're all string variables. And the first one contains this variable value that goes into it. All right, then we're going to have another one. We're going to have y, and that's going to be a whole sentence that says those who no blank and those who blank. Oh, you know what? I forgot to take out the word double here. Please ignore the word double. That's going to print, but it shouldn't be there. Um, you can use single quotes on this. Interestingly, even though this one value, uh, percent %s, contains a single apostrophe, that will not terminate the command. It will still run. It's because it's inserting that as a value even if you ran the whole thing in single apostrophes. It's, it's an interesting qualification on the system. Then we're gonna print X, which is this thing right here. And we're gonna print Y, which is this thing right here. And we're gonna fill in the values on both of those. Then we're gonna do two other things. We're gonna say, I said R. Now R, I'm gonna talk about in one second, and that's gonna take the value for X and it's gonna stick that in there. So it's going to take that whole string, which has a variable of its own, and fill it in right here. And then this one is going to take the entire contents of y. So it's funny because y contains references to s and you know, to these two variables. And so things are kind of cascading back to where they were. Um, both of these have variables that use other variables. Now, um, 
z creates another variable called hilarious and sets it as equal to false. This means it's a, a sort of a truth variable. It's actually called a Boolean and it's true or false. And then we have a, another variable called joke evaluation and it says, isn't that joke so funny? And we have a response to it right here under R. And now interesting, we don't define R at this point. And please note, this needs to be in double quotes because we have a single quote on our apostrophe right here. If we use single quotes, Python would think the command stopped right there. Okay, here's the deal. R, percent R, that's our variable or our format thing. It shows up here in that line and it shows up here. Now, Z explains that as standing for raw data. And while that's, you know, that's a nice way to think about it, it's helpful. Uh, if you check the Python documentation, it actually says that it stands for R-E-P-R, -E or a function, which, if you define that, stands for a string containing a printable representation of an object. So really, representation is the key word here. But uh, Z explains it functionally, saying this is a form of raw data that's used for debugging, which is, is perfectly fair. And then we're going to do this one. We're going to do print joke evaluation uh, percent hilarious. This is an interesting one because remember normally the percent is for defining the variable and we do it like this up here or this one up here is the easiest one where we we call for it right here in the string and then we define it here on the outside. This one is doing it as a two-part thing. It's taking joke evaluation that's this one and you see it finishes with a call for a sort of a format a variable to get stuck in there but it doesn't define it. And instead, what we're doing here is we call that, and then we say, and then we put the percent sign. This means now we're going to define it, and we're going to use hilarious, and that's a variable, and stick in that value. So this is another way of filling in variables in a string. And then we have uh, two more variables, w, which is, this is the left side of dot, 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 and e, a string with a right side. Okay. And then I'm going to show you that actually uh, Z shows how to do it as print W plus E, and it takes those two and it sticks them together with no spaces in between them. You can also do it, Z doesn't show this, if you do it print W comma E, it will join them but with a space in between. And let me just run this and show you how it all works. I'm already referring to my scripts folder. That's where I have my scripts right here. And, you know, the way to do that, again, here, look, there's my print working directory. If I go back to my home directory, which is represented with the tilde, I can just do CD and a space, and then I can uh, drag this in. Oops, excuse me. Grab that and drag it in. And when I click on that, I'm back into my scripts folder. So I'm going to clear that out because I want to. I'm going to do Command K. I type in Python lowercase to in indicate that I'm going to be writing a, using a Python file, and then I do ex06.py. That's the name of the Python file with this extension. And when I hit run on that, here's what you get. This first line, actually, no, it comes down here. This is the first one that prints. There are one zero type of types of people. And it, then it says it prints y, and it fills it in from this one, those who know binary and those who don't. Now, ignore the word double. I forgot to erase that from an earlier version. Um, and then it shows up right here, too. Again, please ignore. It's not supposed to be there. Um, the trick, of course, is that in binary, where you count things 0, 1, 0, 1, this is how you say 2. That's how you write the number 2 in binary, and it's 10 and decimal, and it's very funny. Um, anyhow, then we have this one. This is the next thing that prints joke evaluation, which brings up this string, isn't that joke so funny? And it includes this percent %r, which is calling for a value to get filled in. And then it here, it bounces up to the one before it to fill in that value. That's why we get, isn't that joke so funny? False. That's how it fills it in. And then we get two versions of this one down here. He defined the left and the right, right there. And when you do it as print w plus e, you see that the one flows straight into the other, and there's no break at all here after the dot, dot, dot. And maybe you want it that way. Um, it's good to know that that is a, a choice. On the other hand, if you do it with a comma, then it inserts a space in between the two. Anyhow, that's a way of working with some scripts, sticking in the values, and um, 
hopefully that'll make things uh, a little easier for you. See you in the next video.